Right, so um, in this video we are going to be showing off all of the glitches that are available in the Minish Cap and um, specifically the ones that are kind of useful in um, in Randomizer and that we w would see regular use if you were allowed to do glitches in a Randomizer seed. So um, we've got, we've got uh, myself, Myth197, um, Hendris and iBot. Uh, there's three of us going to be showing off the glitches. Say hi guys. Hello. Okay. So I'm very experienced when it comes to glitches. I know all of them and I can pull them off very consistently. Um, Hendris, you've been learning the any percent category pretty recently and you've just picked up all of the glitches and kind of getting practice and them to get more consistent at them. Pretty much, yeah. And I bought you've never done any glitches. Yeah, no, I've well no, not really. Like I've never done any glitch runs of this game or whatever, so Yeah, so we've got I've a... watched a few, but that's it. Yeah, so we got a spread of like um execution levels here. I, I won't actually be showing off any of the glitches, I'll get these minions to do it for me. Um, <laughs> Um, and on the left hand side uh, of the screen, uh, the stream, um, I've got a list of all of the glitches that we'll be showing off and um, we'll go through them in order. Um, and uh, we've ordered them in order of difficulty to perform. Um, so the first glitch we're going to be showing off is angle retention. Um, the main use that this has is in Cave of Flames and um, Hendris will show it off for you. Now, I, d I don't know if you should just show it, or... Yeah, sure. Yeah, so just, um, just do it. Yep, so what he does there is he jumps out of this hole holding a diagonal angle. And then he's keeping this diagonal angle whilst he pulls the pillar out of bounds. Yeah, and that basically gets rid of the um, loading zone. Yeah, so what he's doing is he's pulling that pillar out to the loading zone of the um, of the doorway so that he can now walk upwards out of this doorway and it yeah. doesn't hit the loading trigger to load the next room and he's just walking out of bounds right now. Um, so how he did the angle retention there was when he was in the hole he jumped um, out whilst holding, de if you look at the, um, the inputs he'll just hold down right as he jumps out. I mean, you can do it in any direction there, so the the best demonstration that he's showing off there is when you do it down left. Link, you can see Link is in a glitch state right now. He's, his his hair's facing the other way. Link's like, Link's like completely mirrored right now, and his, um, he's holding the sword in his <laughs> right hand. And then, yeah, when you do a spin attack, it's completely facing, it's completely spinning in the wrong direction. Yeah, basically, um, um, angle tension lets you store your angle. Pretty much. Yeah, so how he's maintaining this angle is that he's holding the sword out, um, and then that, wh wh when Link's holding the sword out to charge the, the spin attack or to like just prod enemies with, um, it doesn't update Link's angle in memory, so it still thinks that he's holding it at a diagonal angle. And then you just hold the sword yeah. out until you get to the pillar, and then you release the sword, grab the pillar, and then pull the pillar backwards. Yeah. Important for angle retention here is though that the pillar is pushed once. Um, if it's not pushed here, then you basically just soft lock, since you push the, pu the the pillar into a wall and you can't get it back. Yeah, and he pulls it exactly seven times from that position. Yeah, there. Link is yeah. Link has to be like one block to the left of the yeah uh, actual entrance. Yeah, you pull it until Link's standing in this position here, and then, yeah. then you can release the pillar. And then yeah. after you've released the pillar, you walk up into um, until you you keep walking up until you reach the pillar and you push it once. If you just heard there, um, Hendris just pushed it once and then he grabbed a hold of it, and then you no, can can... pull it down. Yeah. And then you can pull it down as far as you want, but you want to pull it into line with this hole so that you can then push it across and grab the yeah. item that's in the chest. Yeah. Uh, do you want to explain the, I suppose, the key skip? Yeah, you do, you you do baby strap, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I think we'll wait on that right now. I think we'll just get Ivor okay. to show uh, to, to, to do the the angle retention. So, Ivor, we're now on to your feed. Yeah. 
Yep, so jump out of a hole holding a diagonal angle. There you go. And then you hold down the sword and then walk up to the pillar. So the pillar's in the wrong place right now. You don't want to do it. Yeah, so you pulled the, the, the pillar um, diagonally once, but you did um, you don't want the pillar in its original position. So if you reload the save state. Uh, that looks weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you pull the pillar once over. Uh, you would normally push the pillar from the other side when you're over there. Oh yeah, another thing is when you um, Hendris does a roll to get more distance with the um, the angle retention. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It's as easy as it looks, apparently. Yeah, you can also use um, the sword, as sorry, the the shield or the gas jar to hold your angle. That works too. Yeah. Uh, Kate also works. You can we'll, okay, we'll show it off when we do the Werble hop in Palace. Um, uh, I pushed it twice, but apparently it looks fine. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's you can pull fine. it, push it as many times. You, yeah, you just do. You just walk up until you hear you're pushing it, and then you can grab it and pull it back into bounds. So how okay. difficult was that? <laughs> Not very. <laughs> I mean, it's it's um, as you need to know what you're doing there. So you need yeah, to know like, that to pu push the pillar one. Yeah, like the first time I pulled the pillar without having like in the wrong position, and yeah, yeah. sure that wouldn't work. But At that point, it's just carry. not recoverable. Um, yeah, but I also like I saw that, and so I didn't like I could have probably still gotten the pillar into the hole, just not. Like, I don't think I would have softlocked there, but I just wouldn't have been able to get the glitch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what happens when you mess it up, because I've not really explored messing up the glitches and trying to to back them up. Yeah, so if you pull it once, and then, like, pull it down and then push yeah, it across... You, you, yeah. You forgot to put it in into uh, sorry out of its original position before putting it. Yeah, yeah. but we're just I, doing I, this, I, I this to see what happens. Just not... Yeah, this is yeah. intentional. See what happens. Yeah, oh, okay, it, it fixed itself. Okay, yeah. so if you can kind of push it over to where, where the pillar hole is, then you'll still be able to get the chest. But if you like pull it out of bounds and you don't yeah, pull like it Yeah, like if you pull it too far, obviously you can't of it. Yeah. You then can can't grab it. it. And it's... It, it's you awesome. then can't get the chest now. But if you leave and re-enter the room, it will, re it will return uh, the to its position. Right? Oh, okay, if you don't go for the door to... Okay, I'm... Yeah, just have to go back. around. Okay, there you go. So there's an easy way of being able to back that up. Just make sure you don't keep holding up after walking through that door, otherwise it will close behind you and then you'd have to go the slow way all, all the way through again to get this chest. Yeah. Okay, so Ivo, if you want to do that and do it up to the point where you grab the chest from um, the hole, um, Hendris, back over to you. Um, so the reason why we do that is to delete the loading zone so that we can walk out of bounds. And we're going to walk out of bounds and skip the next, um, the two minecart rides that we would have to do, and also the small key use that we use to be able to um, change the direction of the minecart. We're going to skip all of these. You do the baby strat here, don't you? Which is yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a really easy strat. You've got lots of leeway with this. You just all you need to do is count the number of rolls that you do from this position here out of bounds, so yeah. go ahead. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah. So you just do just four start. rolls up and two right. I, I think you can yeah. do three up and then two right, and you're aiming to land anywhere in that room. Yeah, so basically we can skip the whole minecart right and the usage of a small key here. Yeah. You'll see the speedrunners will go for a much riskier strat, which lands them in the bridge over here. Um, yeah. It's a quite a reasonable chance that you'll soft lock by not landing on the bridge properly. So I yeah. don't recommend anyone trying to go for that unless you are a speedrunner and know how to do it with consistently. Even like top level speedrunners accidentally soft lock here and kill their own. So, yeah, let's see if I can quickly get it. It's, it's, six it's, one, right? it's six and two, and you need to do a diagonal movement afterwards. 
Diagonal up right. Yeah, diagonal up right after the. Okay. I think it's free. I do it all the time, but um, I I it's see a... really good runners mess it up all the time, so I wouldn't yeah. say it, it's. I wouldn't recommend it for most people to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So y you've soft locked there because you didn't land on the bridge. Yeah. So that's that's really tricky, so I wouldn't recommend you try to do that. Um, so I, I bought back over to you. So. Okay. So we, I start somewhere around here? Yeah, you line up roughly in front of that door, and then you do four rolls up and two right. And then? And you keep walking right. Keep walking right. And then, yeah, um... And then I so right you, the... you, you did the pause there to um, make the screen jump, oh, yeah. jump Sorry, over yeah, to where you were. Yeah, that's something I picked up when you were doing fire up percent. Yeah, uh, yeah, so you don't that's... need to do that pause. That pause is just speeds up the screen moving. Like, if you don't pause, the, the screen will just slowly move and catch up to where Link is. Uh, let me try the other one. <laughs> What, the other one? Yep. The the 6 and 2. 6, 2 and diagonal, right? And, and then yep. diagonal up, right, yeah. I get it, like, I've, I've not messed up in months. Um, but, I don't know. I've got, I don't know, I, I, I think I'm really consistent with my roles, and uh, I have a position that I start doing the, it from that basically always works. Yeah, you have to have very um, tight roles there. Let me actually set myself safe here. Like, you have to have very precise rolls, you can't... Yeah, I it, know. If, if I, you... know th I know that I messed it up, so I just... Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, uh, our only audio is from Hendris' side, so if you hear random noise going on, that's Hendris messing about. Yeah, yeah, didn't expect to get it's, there. It's I very difficult. Pro, so. uh, let me try that again, but it's on keyboard. <laughs> like, have you got a macro to roll? No. <laughs> that was a sp suspicious no. No, I actually don't. Okay. Uh, But anyway, the, the, the baby strat yeah, where you do four and two, that's very, very easy. Um, you, it's, you would have to really mess up your rolls considerably if you, um, in order to not land in that room. Yeah. If you mess up the rolls and you are a bit in the wall above. That, that sure room that's... is a big target to hit. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, for the angle retention cave of flames. Oh, there's the second one. Um, yeah. So if we want to make our way to the second angle retention room, um, yep. which is in this part of um, cave of flames. So this is after we use all of our small keys um, and we come down into the basement, and it's this room with all of the um, the roller bites. So, so um, we do a angle retention here to clip out of bounds. So what we do is um, Hendris has just used the gust jar to put a roller bite in that position in the wall there. Um, if you go up to the to the um, up to the wall so that we can see it, yeah. it's on that pillar. It's it's a really distinctive position. You just it, it's really lenient where you put it. Like it doesn't have to be pixel perfect or anything. You just aim at that wooden strut there and then fire the roller bite into the wall and then he's kind of stuck there. Yeah, um, turn, it off, turn it off again. Oops, it's the wrong item. There we go. Yeah, I, I just suck the, um, the roller bite and just launch it into the wall. So I, I want to hug the wall yeah. and just launch it. Yeah, you just walk up against the wall and, and, um, and fire it into yeah. the wall. And then all we need is one roller bite to f and throw it into the far position. You can put the other roller bites into the holes; it doesn't matter. Um, 
as long as they're out of the way. And then here we do an, um, we're doing another angle retention and pulling this pillar again six times. Wait, no, this is six it's times. Actually, the one before yeah. is seven times. But we pull it six mm -hmm. times so that it's here, and then yeah. we push it up so it is next to the roller bite. And then we're going to do a another angle retention here, but with this hole over here, and we're going to do one diagonal pull to pull it out of bounds into the wall. And then the final angle retention is the third one. We do an upright angle retention and just walk against the wall until we reach the pillar position. And then we grab the pillar and the roller bike pushes us out of bounds. And we do a screen transition to the next room. And then we're in an yeah. elevate. We're on the second layer right now. We're walking above all of the walls. And then from this position, we can walk directly to Glee Rock. So you it's walk up. Though. You walk up until you stop moving against this wall here. Yeah, there's an invisible wall here. There's an invisible wall that you just stop walking. So you walk all the way up to there, and then you just hold right here. And then you walk over to this area. And then you walk yeah. along until, like, you, there's a big oh, area yeah. here that you can walk up to. But you can walk up yeah. to where the where the boss door is. And you can't walk any further. And then you press up. And then you fall down into the boss room. Yeah, skipping the big key, basically. And, yeah, we skip the, the boss door by, um, by doing this. And we don't need to use the the boss key. Yeah. So once again, and then quick. Oops. Yeah, j just do it at full speed here. Got the pressure. The roller bikes are being really nice to you. They're all out yeah. of place. I lost one of my runs to, to this. It's so dumb. But anyway. Um, Yeah, the, the, the angle retentions there are pretty straightforward. It's just three separate angle retentions in that room. Both The first two are down right, and then the last one's to up right. Yep, yeah, and then we're in the boss room. Cool. Alright, now over to you, Ibot. Okay, you've already made a start. I've been trying this because... Yeah, um, Okay, yeah, so... That, um... You don't need to use the sword there, or you can just hold upright. Because you'll just walk against the wall until you then press R. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. I probably didn't pull the pillar You didn't pull the pillar thing. properly, so if you start yeah. it again... But if that happens... Yeah, you can just do this. Yeah, you I you can, can do that. Um, unfortunately, you then I mean, for Renner, that's your... kind of better. If you want to get the chests. Um... It's just kind makes the of. Room yeah. I wonder if that's. It's probably. I not don't think it's faster for, than. Because it's far, not that much faster than just getting the switch in there. Yeah. Because when you do the angle retention with the pillar, you can pull it out from that area and then just push it into the hole and hit the switch. And it's faster yeah. than trying to get it into the wall and then do the whole clip. So. Oh yeah, that, that roller bike's right in the way, so you want to move it, because it's going to reappear and it's going to hit you whilst you're trying to do it. So that's like the one place you don't want it to be, is... Um... Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, this just way put, they when in doubt, put them all in the holes. You don't need to use the sword there, you can hold the dot down right as you're pulling it. Sorry. Yeah, um... six times? Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay, let go now. Um, but when you... When you first did the the angle retention with the the sword, you didn't need to yeah. hold the sword. You can just hold down right the whole way un until you reach the pillar, and then grab the pillar. And now I do this. Yeah, this is the only point that you need to have the spin. Uh, you you need yeah. to use the sword, and it's kind of tight with the timing there because your spin attack. Um, if you don't do it fast enough, you'll spin attack the roller bite. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a few kind seconds. Yeah, so you want to grab it um, ASAP. Alright, that's good. That yeah, you didn't, yeah, you didn't get pushed by the roller bike that yeah. time. There you yeah. go. The, the, the and then you go to... here? Yeah, you want to walk all the way to the top of the room first and then move right. You don't yeah. want to move right first before going all the way to the top. Um, because when you then walk right and then try moving it up, you'll clip into the boss room 
and soft lock yourself. Yeah. Um, Hendris, can you demonstrate that? Sure. Um, I'm pretty sure this glitch can be retried if you, um... Like, if the pillar gets put into the wrong position, you just jump back into the minecart and then, um... Yes. And then you just try again. Did you just soft lock? I think I bought. I think you just. Soft I just left the boss door and it's soft lock. Yes. Yeah, don't walk back out of that boss door. Just go fight the boss. Okay. So, so it's well, it, don't have... don't get, walk up and then don't yeah, walk up. Just walk right and then walk up and it, you'll see you'll get soft locked inside the wall here and you're stuck and you won't have any way out. So that's why it's really important in the in the room before to walk to the very top first, then walk right. So that you've got the right position, and then you walk right far enough so that you, um, you you're not against this this wall here. You're you're over it somewhere in this area, so that when you when you walk up from the other the, the room prior, um, you'll you'll then drop down off of this wall and land somewhere here. All right, I got back over to you. Oh yeah, I was just trying it again. Yeah, you don't need the. Um, yeah. I don't need a sword there. That you... makes it harder. Yeah, and I'll just go up. There you yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. So if you hit the if the roller bite's in the rolled up ball position, you don't take any damage when you do the um, when you do the when you when you grab the pillar. Um, yeah. But if it's not, then you um, you you'll take damage if it if it's in its regular regular form. Yes, yeah, so we can actually go all the way through to the, um, yeah, in the room that you're in now, if you walk right where the, um, like, the ground is, you can walk into the lava room, and we can skip the first section of the, of the lava room <coughs> if you want to. Uh, I can't get down here. Yeah, no, if you, if you go back up, um, and, and then and go left into the room of the keys. Yeah, and enter it, um... Yeah, where where the, yeah, where the path just... is that you would normally walk through to get into the other room, you can just press left. Okay, you soft lock yourself there. Yep. I think if you use the cape, you can jump. Uh, I already yeah. loaded a safe safe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hendris, if you want to show it off. Uh, sure. Actually, no, you're still are you still soft lock? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, if you go into the lava room. See who's quicker. Uh, you? <laughs> Fuck. Never mind. You're quicker. Yeah, that happens all the time. You try and throw the the roller bite all the way into the into the, oh, the far uh, position. Wait, wait, wait. That's a weird position. Does this still work? <laughs> um, it looks like it should work still. I think he pulled it the right number of times. I didn't count, and it's. Like, weird. Oh, if it's weird, then no. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, what happened there was that when I pulled it here... Wait, hang instead on. Instead of ending here. up over here, I ended up over here, <laughs> for some reason. Uh... I'm... I wouldn't know why that happened if I didn't see it as it happened. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, uh... I don't know if it was caught in your stream or not. But yeah. Um, on my end again? Okay, right, so... back over to Hendris. Uh, hang yeah. on, if you just do that, that screen transition again, just to show it. Ah, so you just stay on the upper layer. Yeah, so you just yeah. you stay in the upper layer the whole time. You only change layers if you hop down a ledge or go up and down a staircase. So you, you, you can do side-scrolling screen transitions here and staying out of bounds. Yeah, you can grab pot pots from... Um, an elevated position and just not touch the ground. Um, so you can't walk up into the boss um, door from this position, position, but we can skip all of the um, all of those um, um, the the lava platforms and come all the way back here. I don't think there's anything you can do here. If you've got the cape, I think you can jump into the tornado. I'm not sure, but the um, how. 
Yeah, okay then. And then you're back in the regular position. This is regular state now. Oh, look, the big key. Oh, there's the drop key. It's in Dex it's just. Funny. Yeah. But yeah. That's basically. Oh, yeah. There's also angle retention here, but. Oh, this <laughs> one's stupid. I don't yeah. even try it. Uh, I will, though. You'd have to do an up, up left. So the, how how this works is you need to do, you need to hold up left for like six frames and then hold up for one frame to be able to to do this um to do this angle retention in this area. It's dumb. It took me so long to get it once. Yeah. You'll know you get it because you Link will be facing left, but he'll jump out of the hole upwards. But yeah, I, I don't think we should try and do oh. this. I think we should... Oh, you got it. Okay, there we go. <coughs> and you do it from the bottom hole. If you do it from the top hole, it doesn't work. But you, okay. do, the, you do the Wurble Hop. And this, okay, this is coming on to Wurble Hops, which we can demonstrate in Palace. Like this? Yep. So, here in Palace of Winds, this is the second part of the angle retention glitch. This uses angle retention and the cane in combination to be able to get out of bounds. Um, so, um, this is only used in, this is only useful in places where there's a wall to the right of a hole. Got it first. There we go. Yeah. Oh, did you just do it, iBot? <laughs> I got it before I understood. Oh, you just got it before I understood. Okay, here's, here's iBot's screen, so, um... Uh, where do I go? Uh, you just walked on the know. stairs, oh, so it, it... I just walked on the stairs. It reset yeah. your layer. So I can layer. get to show it off again. Yeah, so you just do a diagonal down right movement. Um, I think, I believe getting hit by this spike doesn't readjust your it does. angle. Yeah, apparently it does. Because if you stand still, you can get knocked by the, the, the spike into the hole. But yeah, then, then you're in this elevated position. Here. Okay, back, yeah. up, back over to Hendrix. If you walk back to the beginning of the angle retention, just to show how you walked over to here. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, I just dodged those locks here and just. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're on this sloped um, section of the, the wall um, when you when yeah. you walk up to get over here. If you're ever further over to the left, you will um, do a screen transition into the other room. Yeah, so this is how we use good put push, basically. Yeah, so we now can we get can... to here without having to shrink as minish or anything. Yeah, so we can just grab that one, for example, get back, and do a second one. Um, since we are also able to skip the um, key here. Yeah, so this is what the ang um, the any percent speed run does: is these two uses of angle retention. And I can just walk over here. Yeah, you what do. You... you just do a screen transition there, and you yeah. manage to skip this boss, this locked door. And now, if I can just do this. Yeah, you just use the cape and jump into yeah. the top of the room. Yeah. And then you can continue the dungeon as normal, and you've got the pot push item, saved a small key, and saved a lot of time. Yeah. Um, so that isn't the only use of the angle retention in that room. Um, you can skip the rest of the first half of Palace and make your way into the second half of Palace. If you do the angle retention and you do a screen transition left into the room with the clouds. Oh yeah, sure. And then if you walk up without um, jumping you are now in the second half of Palace. And then, no way! Yeah, you can walk right, and then, because you're in an elevated position like this, we want to get back down somehow, so we go up to the staircase, and from the top of the staircase we hop down. Like this, and just hop down. Yeah, there you go. And we're in the second half of Palace, early. Yeah. But then we can continue whatever we want to do here. Um, you can even go into the, um, like with that angle retention, you don't need to hop down on that doorway. You, you, we can go 
um, when you walked up and then walked right, if, instead if you walk left, um, you can walk into the room that has the fire bar and the skulls after the room that you need to pull a lever with the um, the floor masters. So you can skip that room as well. Yeah. If you fancy just, you know, skipping all the way through to the red warp. So, what thing is so, now go up? Yeah, you walk up and then walk left. Hmm. Yeah. And then you can hop down off that staircase. And then up here, you can get to the red warp very quickly. So this lets us give have lots of flexibility in what we want to do in Palace. It no longer is a linear dungeon and you can decide to skip to the second half of Palace early. Um, do some of the checks in here, get the red warp, go back to the... Like, if you want to skip everything in the... In, in the... In the first half of Palace. But yeah, the, um, I won't go into all of the different routing options, but that's that's pretty much it. Um, Speaking of palace, we do also have the boss door clip here. Yeah, so the boss door clip. Um, so that's the next um, glitch on, on the list. Um, so as far as I'm aware, the angle retentions that we just showed off there are the only actual practical uses of angle retention in the randomizer. So we'll move on to the next glitch now. So this is called boss door clipping. Um, what we, how boss door clipping works is that we use an item to cancel the animation of Link walking, opening the boss door and then walking through into the next room and we cancel that with one of two items you can either use the magic boomerang or you can use the lantern so Hendrix will share off using the magic boomerang first yeah okay so you throw the magic boomerang and you're holding down the button that you use to throw the magic boomerang and then open the um the boss door and then after they've opened the boss door they just walk right and they do a screen transition sideways and they're up in an elevated position now and then they can walk um, from this elevated position all the way through to Georg and skip the entirety of the second half of Palace. I don't know why I equipped the cane here. Probably because, it's because of, of the droplets. Templar Droplets one. Yeah. yeah. So here you want to be holding down the A button until the, the, the boomerang returns back to you. And then we do a... Um, I don't know why you do that screen transition. That's it's objectively worse. I don't know. Yeah, don't walk left after you do the right transition. Go up. See, I'm running here. <laughs> yeah, this is going to help you out in the speed run. So in this room, go up. You can actually start dashing up here. Oops. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, and and then you do a left transition. Because if you did go up, then you soft lock in here. As shown. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go up there. Okay, the next one is with the lantern. Yeah, so with the lantern, wrong button. You want it on B. Yeah, don't make make sure you don't ha with the lantern. You don't want it on A. You want it on the B button. And then with this one, you press the lantern and open the door um, whilst the lantern is turning on. And then, so this, that's how you do the boss door clip with the lantern. Have you ever done it I... before with the lantern? No. Yeah, it's that easy. Like, after the first screen transition, you can start doing a dash straight upwards and just hold left whilst you're doing the dash and drift left. And then you go through all of the screen transitions in a single dash. <sighs> that's better. Yeah, and going up and down the stairs here will fix your position back to the ground layer. So you can fall down again. Okay, iBot, over to you. So, yeah, yeah, you got the boomerang. I think it doesn't matter which button you have the boomerang on. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so you want to wanna... throw the boomerang directly away from you. Oh yeah, this only works with the magic boomerang, not the regular boomerang. Yeah, after you've done the clip, you just want to make sure you do the right screen transitions so that you don't accidentally soft lock yourself in a wall or you 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 fall back into bounds in the wrong room. Like this. Well, oh yeah, and then one. you can do a second boss door clip there. 
Yeah. yeah, if you got the boss door, that's what we do in the hundred percent route. Uh, is we go, we do a screen transition into this room. Um, used to open the boss door because then after we fought Georg, we can then continue back into the dungeon and clear the dungeon backwards. So you can clear through the second half of the palace after fighting Georg if you wanted to. Uh, by doing that sounds useful for Rainbow as well. By doing that, yeah. Um, so that's the Palace of Winds application of boss door clipping. Um, I believe you can also do a boss door clip if you do the ang um This is kind of like a five, 200 IQ route, but you can do an angle retention to skip into the second half of Palace, play all the way through to the last boss door and do a boss door clip to get back to the the first half of palace but why, why, why do you want to do that oh yeah so with the lantern you want to turn the lantern on and then open the door so yeah like this right yeah i don't know where i am now but there you are there you go and then if you walk left and then down, um, you'll... So far. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you keep walking but further left until you get to the... Where that put not so okay. far, I guess. Yeah, you, you just keep walking left until you reach the... Um... Yeah, just keep, just keep on walking left here. Keep going. And then walk down. I think you've gone far enough now. There you go. Oh, you didn't quite walk far enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That was just like a off-the-cuff route option by me. I, I don't think anyone would consider trying to do this. But again, that's just showing the amount of flexibility that this glitch allows you to have in Palace. You can decide to do things in different orders. Yeah. The one in Droplets, however, is a bit more difficult. Uh, yeah, so let's go over to um, Templar Droplets. Oh, there we go. Um... You're gonna do the um, the the the. the boss you don't clip. need yeah. to do the ocarina glitch before this. Um, you're do okay. I slam though. So the, the ocarina it... glitch um, gives us one more application to that. Yeah, this requires you to do the the um, the ocarina glitch to get this. Yeah, this is basically the, the fancy strat. Yeah, this doesn't work if you don't have Ocarina Glitch on, but yeah. we, do, we do this in any percent to skip the um, vast majority of the dungeon and get into the um, to the blue warp room straight away. We will go into um, how Ocarina Glitch works first Later. before um, going into this. Yeah. Because it's a combination of many items and it's... But you don't need to do the, um, the Ocarina Glitch to be able to get into this area. Yeah. So all I have is the boss door. Uh, sorry, is the boss key. Yeah. I the ocarina glitch is uh, it's not active because I still fall down. Yeah. Whoops. Also, change your lantern. Yeah. But you can use the lantern. You just can't have it on A. Yeah, but I like the boomerang more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're used, it depends on what you're used to, but yeah. Yeah. Lantern okay. feels easier. Lantern is very easy. Yes. Um, yeah, okay. Magic boomerang, if you accidentally miss time or throw the boomerang in the wrong direction, um, then you can accidentally open the door. Oh yeah, that's another it's thing also... to mention, is if you mess this up, that's one chance gone, unless you did a save beforehand. Um, yeah. Once the boss door is open, that's it. That's it's your open. one chance. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I so, don't have OG. What do we want to do now? Uh, you can go to Octo. So if you do six rolls down, and then two, sorry, four right. Four right. Yeah. yeah and then hold right. And then you do a, it does a screen transition like this. And then we press left. And then walk down. And you're an Octo. <gasps> oh no, <Yeah>. again. <laughs> So that's how quickly you can go mode um, Templar Droplets if you wanted to. But remember, you've only got one boss door, so you have to make a decision of what you want to do here. Do you want to go I to mean... Octo quickly, or do you want to go to the Blue Walk quickly? Okay, right, over to iPod. So, 
So, where do I want to go? Yep, so you, you use the lantern... Okay, so you do six rolls down and two right. Uh, sorry, four right. I don't know why I say two. It, the, the, these right. rolls are really lenient as well. And then you just keep holding right. Yeah, and then you go left and go down. And this is how you can get to Octo very, very quickly. Um, you don't need to do any Ocarina glitch or anything to allow this to work. Um, I And that was like 10 rolls, which is nowhere near Mana. Yeah. I did come up with a Hundo. This is exact. This is the strat that Hundo uses to get to Octo, and I did come up with a minute for it. But again, oh, no. it's, it's Japanese only. Um, I don't think it works for random. It would, it would I mean, require a lot more work to make it work. You could just figure out how many times to, to tap boots in that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I mean, it's it, it wouldn't be like... hard. Um... Yeah, normal mana is two dashes and three rolls and two taps. So yeah. That's... We we want to adjust RNG seventeen times, I believe. Uh. But yeah, so and each dash is 21 and each tap is 7, was that right? Each tap is 7, yep, and each roll is 1. So and Each dash is 21, so it's like... In just in case you want to talk to me, yeah. In the hundo um, minute, we're actually two RNG calls further ahead than we want to be, so we skip the first two rolls inside of the Octo fight. Um, huh. We can incorporate that somehow. But I think that's beyond the scope of this because I don't think yeah, we want to do it at Octo Minute from a glitched, uh, from doing the boss door clip. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Next up would be Dash LG, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah, so in order to be able to do the more, I what I think is the more powerful OG because it lets us skip the, uh, sorry, OG, the more powerful boss door clip that gets us to the blue warp in Temple of Droplets. Um, we need to explain Ocarina Glitch first. Um, so Ocarina Glitch, uh, if we go over to Hendris now. Um, yeah. Ocarina Glitch is where you use the Ocarina in front of a staircase and it's as, as quick as that. You press up and the Ocarina one frame apart. Um, it becomes um, basically muscle memory and if you, if you go up to a staircase and press up and press, press A, it's very likely that you'll just get it straight away. Um, so three things happen when you um, when you try and do the ocarina glitch. Either Link plays the ocarina. Oh, okay, what what Hendris just showed there is that you walk down the stairs. You uh, you you, yeah. you pressed up too early. Um, you pressed it way before you pressed A. Th there's the second thing that happened where Link visibly plays the ocarina and you can hear the sound of it and you can't do anything whilst it's playing. Um, that means that you pressed uh, the uh, you pressed the ocarina too early. Um, and the, the, the third thing is when ocarina glitch actually happens, where the ocarina plays, you can hear the sound of it, but you um, Link doesn't visibly play the ocarina at all. And if there were um, moldozers in this room, they would all freeze, and time would look like it's frozen. Yeah. Um, ocarina itself, sorry, the ocarina glitch state is very fragile, though. Yes. So be careful not to roll. Because that will soft lock you. Yeah, Hendris is completely soft locked right now. It's not just rolls; many of Link's actions will soft lock you. So if you dash with the boots and bonk into a wall, you'll soft lock. Oops. Yeah, give me, a, give me a second. <laughs> yeah. Just get, just give you a second. Um, you'll <laughs> notice the moldozers will freeze as well if you get it. Fuck's sake. <laughs> cool. This is what um, loses time in any percent runs, by the way. Yeah. So... Just fed up to my own. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, so all of the moldozers are frozen. So, on the first screen that you are, where you've just done the Ocarina glitch, Link is very likely to soft lock if you don't. If you accidentally roll or do anything that you. You can dash, but you don't. You don't want to bonk, otherwise, yeah. you, you'll soft lock. As soon as you do a screen transition sideways, you then enter the second Ocarina glitch state, which is much. Uh, you have much more freedom. You can roll. It's harder to tell that you are in the Ocarina glitch state because time's not frozen. But, but when you you 
in the Ocarina glitch state, you Link won't update what ground type he's on unless he rolls. Yeah, so I don't have um, Ice Physics right now. But if I roll here, I'll get Ice Physics. Yeah. And then no matter where um, Hendris goes now, he's going to have Ice Physics and he's going to slide about all over the place. Because it still thinks that Link's last position was on the ice, because that's the last place that he rolled. Oh yeah, and when you walk up and down stairs, you don't go back down the stairs, you only elevate your position. So when he walked up the stairs, he's now on a higher elevation point here, and he can walk out of bounds um, over walls. So we can skip the first locked door in, in um, Temple of Droplets by doing the Ocarina glitch, walking up that staircase, and then um, walking over to this room and skipping that locked door. Yeah, if you want to cancel the Ocarina glitch state, just play it once again. Yeah. Whenever you, you think you might have the Ocarina glitch on, you can just play the Ocarina to get rid of it. Um, yeah. In that room, you don't need to play the Ocarina to go to fall down. You can roll. If you roll above a a um, a um, um, a pit, then you'll fall down the pit. Okay, uh, let's go over to iBot. Right, so you, you're going to try and do OG here. Yeah, yep. so... Have you, have yeah. you got it any time so when you practice uh, it? I have, but then walked straight up into the stairs. Yeah, so that's the tricky thing, is that it's a it's a very quick tap. You're t tapping both the buttons at the same time, basically. And you... Yeah. Um, like, it, it will be something that you have to practice a, a, a little bit to, um, to get the feeling for. Yeah. There you there go. We go. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, and then walk out this room, and then there you go, you've got the Ocarina glitch state now. If I roll here, I die, right? <laughs> if you roll, you'll fall down, yeah. And then... What? Do I lose OG? Uh, you'll... No, you won't lose OG. OG will only get disabled by two things. Playing the Ocarina, and huh. getting a white or black screen transition. They're the okay. two things that will cancel the OG. Yeah, so for example, if you get OG in Hyrule Field, if you enter town, you lose OG. Yeah. But oh yeah, so you... from here, where where the boss, um, where you are here, you're in an elevated position right now, over the boss door. We can just completely skip the boss door if we wanted by just walking down. And because there's, you saw the white flash there, there's a white screen transition, OG's now cancelled. Yep, so now I get Ice Physics again. Yeah. So it links just in its normal state right now, and we managed to get um, into the second half of, um, well, past um, the boss door in Temple of Droplets without using without using the big key and uh, opening that boss so door. So we can still glitch into Octolator. Yeah, we can glitch yeah. into Octolator if we wanted. If you wanted to check some of the first items, um, yeah, don't try and walk back through the the door though. You make sure. You you want to yeah. do it just a yeah, quick just walk. Yeah, just quick walk instead. Yeah. It's yeah. random. The door's basically still there. Um, do we want to explain the OG boss doctor as well? Or yeah, is so th this or... is the... Th this is a combination yeah. of both Ocarina Glitch and boss door clip. And is... Um... Oh, I think conceptually it's going to be the hardest s sequence of glitches that we're going to explain here. Yeah. Um, longer. But execution-wise, it's not too difficult. Okay, so back over to Hendris. Um, yeah, so just Hendris just did an OG there, and they're going to walk all the way around uh, with the Ocarina glitch state to where the boss door is, and they're going to do the boss door clip with um, the boomerang. You can also do it with the lantern. And from here, we're going to walk over to the... Um, we'll walk right slightly and then walk up. Um... What we want to do is we need to make sure that we've got a good sub-pixel position and we've got a visual cue for this. So we roll up against this wall here. We're, we're below the screen at the moment and we're, walk we're rolling up. So over here you can see some flashing. Oh, they, there you go. There's some flashing there. So I'm not this sure if this is getting picked up on screen. It, I don't know. It is though. Uh, but so you see a main fla flash. And then you, there are a cup, like two pixels to the side here. Which are like that, yeah. Basically, you want your cane flash to have four pixels in length 
and after that initial four pixel flash, there are two flashes to the right of it. Yeah. In very quick succession. Uh, yeah. Hang on. Okay. Exactly. After that big main flash, you see two little remnant little pixels that lit up, light up. If you see yeah. those two little remnant pixels, you've got a good sub pixel position. If you if you don't have um, those two sub um, little small pixels and you just have the big flash and nothing else following it. Um, you want to move down and then roll back up in against this wall to try and get a better subpixel position. Yeah. But once you've got that, um, then your subpixel position is good. You don't want to adjust your vertical height at all from this position. You just want to press right to do a, a, a right screen transition. Yeah, but as soon as the screen transition happens, you want to hold up. Uh, you want to so, pause. Yeah, so, you. you you, you do a pause button. Okay, so here, we as soon as we start doing the screen transition, um, Hendris was mashing the pause button to try and pause during the screen transition. Yeah. And then once the pause menu is up, he's going to uh, un, um, unpause and make sure he's holding up as he's unpausing. And then we do that. Um, and this stops us from falling back down off of this cliff here, and we're on this yeah. elevated position here. And yeah, then we walk up. Oh yeah, Hendris is going to do a left transition there, gets the white flash, which means that Ocarina glitch is cancelled, and then he can walk right, and then hop down this ledge. If you yeah. don't cancel OG, you're going to stay stuck at the top there, so you just play the Ocarina again to disable the Ocarina and then hop down. Yeah. And then we're in this um, the, the, the Scissor Beetle room, and we can kill them to get the blue wall. Yeah. Uh, do you want to show the OG uh, we'll way get, to the... I got to do the... Um, okay. The, um, the yeah, so I was uh, trying to get OG in the first part, of, so I don't know, but... Okay, so you've got OG, and then... You I got the, OG. Yeah, you do the boss door clip. Uh, just anywhere. Yeah, just anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, there's no um, specific position that you need to be. And then you roll right a couple of times, um, only like two, two or three times, and then you roll up. Now you want to make sure that you've got the your um, cane equipped. Oh, that's something really important that we wanted to mention with the Ocarina glitch. Um, in the first screen that you have the Ocarina glitch, you can't pause. So if you want to use any items whilst you've got that first screen Ocarina glitch, you need to equip them before you do the Ocarina glitch. Because you can't pause after you've done the Ocarina glitch. You'll need to do a screen transition first before you'll then be able to pause again. So that's something important to know. But anyway, back to this. Um, if you, yeah, you roll up against the wall um, and then use the cane. Yeah, so I see uh, Where are you? Oh, you're over on the left. So you yeah. want to move left a bit so that you can see more. Oh, we've got your cursor on the screen as well. Yes, yes. I can show with my cursor. So I'm. Uh, so yeah, so walk left a little bit more, like a tile or so over, and then. And then uh, but face up, up, right? So I hold yeah, up. Yeah, face, face up. And then use the cane. Okay, there we go. So it's, it looks so like you've got the good um, yeah. pixel there because you're getting the two flashes to the side as well. Yeah, it's one long flash. It's like four pixels and then just two um, small flashes to it, right? If the pixel is wrong, one flash to the right after the. F uh, yeah. There is uh, another one. Um, it's, it's, it's two pixels, to see. which. Yeah. Okay. I but trust if you, you see guys any that. additional flashes to the side, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If a pixel is wrong, then your initial longer um, flash will be like two to three pixels, but yeah. not four. Okay. So here, you just want to make sure you don't press up or down at all, just press right until you start doing the screen transition, then mash start until you pause. Okay, and then you unpause and hold up. Cool. And then you, you can play the ocarina in this room. And you want to hop down, not there, because you'll soft lock against the. Oh, okay, you don't soft lock there. Okay, interesting. I thought you soft lock against that um, that torch, so that's. Pretty I great. thought I soft lock there for two for a moment. But you, I think you needed to. You did a diagonal upright or something like that, and you managed yeah. to break out. Yeah. Yeah. So that's conceptually the most difficult one because you need to. All, all the steps are a little bit tricky, but not difficult to do. It's just remembering all of the steps to it. Yeah, so let me try to do it from memory, and...
All right, don't roll over the void. You can dash with the ocarina glitch. Yeah, dash. this is the best That's... best movement. Um... Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So I'm holding. I already forgot. Uh, do I go down first? No. You go oh. right. You go right. That's the right one. Yeah. Sorry? It's good to me. Yeah. You had the, the right subpixel. Well, I moved after, but. Okay, this looks good. Yeah. You can move left and right, it's fine. You'll maintain that vertical subpixel. Right now, I don't want to jump down where the torch is, so somewhere like here. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, if you try and hop down the ledge, you'll get like halfway down, and then you'll just like clip back up to the top if you don't use your if you don't get rid of the ocarina glitch. Yeah. Um, a way to quickly traverse droplets, however, is just by um, using the ocarina glitch on the stairway that leads into this room where Albert currently is. Yeah, so um, back over to Hendris. Um, after you do that scissor beetle fight and you go back down the stairs, from this room, um, we can do a lot of cool ocarina glitches. So we do the ocarina glitch there in that room, and then this basically unlocks the entirety of the basement of Temple of Droplets. Yeah. There's a lot so of we... different rooms that we can go to from this position. Hendrix is going to show off the any percent route here, where we get to the second switch um, very quickly. Yeah. I can all... Yeah, see? If, if, um, yeah. if I try to jump down, it won't work. Yeah. And so, then you, from yeah. here you go up, and then... Yeah, right. we just go up. And right. And you, you skip all of these rooms that are prior to... that you would have to normally go through to get to Octo. Yeah. And then here we play the ocarina to get rid of it, um, the ocarina glitch so just, state, yeah. so we can get to here. And then this is right before the second switch, so that we can push the second switch, and it only takes a minute instead of five minutes to to, um, to unlock Octo the yeah. traditional way. But remember, this way as well, we still have to watch the cutscene of unmelting Octo. Yeah. So if you want to have the um, yeah, if you want to have the double cuts, for example. I don't know, let's drink. You can do that. Yeah, see, um, if the second switch is pressed or pulled without the first one being pulled, um, the cutscene won't play. Yeah, that's, that's something I mean, that's that people can experience in yeah. Rando. Yeah. Um, in, in vanilla, that would softlock you, but that is a fix in Rando. You don't need to do glitches to be able to do that. You can do that through regular gameplay in Rando. Yeah. Okay, eyeball back over to you. You are soft Yeah, so well, I managed to soft lock here and I figured I'd wait here until. <laughs> yeah, so you did a screen transition to high up. So, a lot of these OGs and stuff and yeah, but the out of bounds like, movement. Just quick warp and try again. Yeah, a lot of the. Yeah, a lot of this out of bounds movement is just knowing where you can do it safely without getting stuck inside of a wall. And yeah. But this OG is getting a lot easier. With yeah. Practice. Yes. As soon as you get it a couple of times, it then becomes super easy. Yeah. One important thing about OGs is um, you don't want to jump down anywhere in the, in the first um, room. Hence to interact with the lily pad. Yes, yeah, so um, when you interacted with the lily pad, it lowered you. Oh, so I'm now on the lower layer. Yeah, you're now on the lower layer. Um, that's a really interesting thing with the, the OG. Yeah, so you can, um, you can interact with the chest too. Now, if you try and do any screen transitions to the side, uh, like you, the walls are going to be in the way, but if you didn't, um, if you do any of the transitions over water, you'll infinitely drown. Oh um, yeah. yeah, that's. So you will want to you raise just yourself back over. Go yeah. back here and well, not that. But yeah, that. So jumping oh, yeah, down that's, from that's those... something really important to note as well. Where, what you did there, we hopped down that ledge. If you just did the OG and did that, you would soft lock. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So okay. that's really important to remember is to avoid hopping down. That that happens all the time and it just kills the run. Um, also, when you're soft lock like, like that, you can't pause. 
that's another thing. So if you didn't save before also, that doing the OG, one's actually bad because you can't it's just click on very button. bad. Yeah. Remember, with any OG, if you soft lock on the first screen of the OG because you bonked or you rolled or you hopped down a ledge, you can't save, and you can't re um, like you would have to go back to your last save before that point. So make sure you save before you do any OGs. And yeah, I just recommend doing a lot of exploring um, if you want to test out any of these glitches with the with Out of Bounds. See where you can go. Um, I've done a lot of testing it with it myself, so I'm just explaining the the most practical uses that I've found. But I probably haven't found everything, and there's likely that something else useful may be found. Speaking of practical uses, um, oh there's yes, one... the yeah. most useful ocarina glitch and probably the easiest one to do is um, in the wind tribe. So if you exit out of the wind tribe and just go go to where you are oh. in, um, yeah. So from the very beginning of the game, with only the ocarina, if you're by Link's house, you can go through this portal. and enter the Wind Tribe. And you see, whenever you see racers or anyone doing a seed, they basically come here straight away. First 10 seconds of the run, you, you come and get some items in here. If you've got the Ocarina, um, well, in order to go through the rest of this area, we would have to go all the way up Vale Falls into Cloud Tops, getting all of the Cloud Tops Ken Stones, unlock them all in Cloud Tops, and then enter through the front door of the Wind Tribe. Then everyone moves out of the way for you. But we can skip all of those Kinstone requirements by just using the Ocarina to do an Ocarina glitch there and walk through that um, florist, the, the lady yeah. there. And then you can walk up the stairs all the way to Palace. Yeah. So, so if I. We effectively um, skipped the entirety of Cloud Tops and Veil Falls. Yeah, that is hugely useful. And in fact, with just Ocarina glitches, we can avoid um, getting to all. We can get to all dungeons without using any Kinstones. Yeah. Looks like Abbott got it as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, I was I already in Palace at the moment. They. They got um, the OG. So. Uh, yeah. If I want to go back there, I didn't have a safe, safe setup, so... Oh, right. Yeah, it's really I got that. back over to you. I mean, we've already shown you getting OG a couple of times already. Yeah, it's... Like, it's definitely getting easier with just doing it more. Um, Ocarina Glitch is a glitch that has an incredibly low sk skill floor. And an incredibly... Um... I, I think it's also an. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's an incredibly low skill ceiling as well. Like, top level runners will still fail Ocarina Glitch. Because no matter how much you practice it, you won't ever always get it 100%. Because it's a one frame window. Yeah. It's mostly it just luck and just keep it going for it. Yeah. But yeah, now, now you've got the OG, you can just walk through Floris. And in Rando, it's really easy because you only need to do one of these. And in fact, in the Any% percent route, we have to do two because Haley's in the way. But in Rando, Haley's automatically moved out of the way for us. Oh yeah, um, Haley is the little girl up yeah. here. So, um, so wait, oh, oh, over to Hendris now. Yeah, yeah Haley's this, that's this Haley. girl over here. She's normally blocking this staircase in the vanilla game. And we would have to walk all the way up to the, the old lady in the... The upper section here. Yeah, yeah and just talk to her. You then... talk to her. She has a, has a massive long text box. Sp yeah. Spiel, and then and then you can talk to Haley, and Haley will walk, walk out of the way. But in the rando, she's lovely. She's she's nice and moved over to the side automatically. So we don't need to do the second offer in a glitch. You only need to do one, which is fantastic. Yeah. Okay, next up would be okay. a way to get into, well, um, into Western Woods early. Yeah, right? so back at Link's house, um, it's really cool that there's two really uh, powerful Ocarina glitches right by Link's house. Um, but yeah, over at this pond, which is normally the um, the big Ruby Mania pond that we get right at the beginning of a seed, after we have some kind of um, ability to break trees or get over to this area, we do an Ocarina glitch on the staircase here. Yeah. Oh yeah, so um, a, a, a thing to note with the alignment for Ocarina Glitch, um, 
if you have just come out of the staircase, you're in the perfect position to do the Ocarina glitch. If you don't want to have to enter and then um, exit the um, the the staircase of the thing that you just um, tried to do the Ocarina glitch on, then you can do a roll up into the staircase. If you do a neutral roll, which is you roll up and then release your neutral inputs, you won't um, you won't walk in, you won't walk down the staircase, but you'll be right up against it and be in the perfect position to do that. So that's why Hendrix does a, does a roll there to go up into the staircase. And then first yeah. screen of Ocarina Glitch, everything's frozen. Second screen, everything's back to normal. And, yeah, we can do it. And as Hendris was just showing now, um, we can get to Western Woods without needing the Red Sword. We don't need any sword, in fact, if, as long as you can get over to that... Um, that puddle, that staircase there, we can. Yeah. Um, you can just do the yeah. OG and make your way over to Western Woods. Yeah. To break those trees, you can either use the bombs, um, you can use the light arrows, since that will also break them, or you could just use um, the lantern to break them. Or you can skip the breaking the trees at all by just using the cape or the flippers to, 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 to traverse this gap here. Yeah. But yeah, OG okay. is selective on my end, I think. Yeah, no, it's not. and then over... Is it? You'd already pushed it, right? Yeah. Okay, OG not Oh wait, no you didn't. Anyway, I got over to you. Okay, so you got the OG off of the staircase there. Yeah, and I did have a bird flying at me and cut oh, out of that. So that, I'm not that's in the OG. Yeah, if we have... If you do an OG in the overworld, um, Zephyr will come and fly, fly past. If you don't, if you um, if you mess up your OG so that you play the ocarina, Zephyr's gonna fly past. If you get the ocarina glitch first try, Zephyr won't fly past. But if you if Zephyr's flying through to come and grab you whilst you're trying to do the ocarina glitch, and you get the ocarina glitch, um, Zephyr will fly away and take you off with her. Um, if you then cancel back out of that menu, you're now straight away into the second state of Ocarina Glitch. So you can do rolls, you can bonk and stuff, and you won't, um, you won't softlock. And you've got the Ocarina Glitch um, enabled right now, so you can just continue as normal. So it's completely fine if Zephyr grabs you whilst you're in the Ocarina it's Glitch. Probably state. even better for it, yeah, it's, it's not being able to softlock as easily. Yeah, you won't softlock as easily. So it is, it's, it's, uh, yeah, that's an important um, thing to know. Yeah, once so you enter Castle, though, um, that's widescreen transition, and that will cancel your OG. Yeah. Yep, so we in Castle yeah. Wild, so we can't, um... You would still need the cape or the boots to traverse over the ground here. Yeah. But anyway, in, in Castle Wilds, there is another angle, um, there is another portal items that we're going to do. So back over to Hendrus. OG. Sorry, OG. I cannot say the glitches names. Um, we go over to the grave. Um, the grave is another staircase, so we can do an, um, an OG off of here. You're getting a pattern here, aren't you? Um, any staircase, you can do an OG. Yeah. Did you get it there? I got it. Okay, there we go. There was a demonstration of getting the OG with um, Zephyr. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Do I how do you, I go? <laughs> you want to go right um, over to where the Windcrest is. And then you go up. So it's really important to note you need this boulder pushed. If, you're full, if you get the OG first, uh, first screen, if you do the boulder push, you'll soft lock. So you yeah. want to push that before doing the Ocarina glitch. That is on iBot's screen right now. Yeah, that's what I can demonstrate right now. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Because so iBot's demonstrating it now. Yeah. He's got the frozen screen. He tries to push the boulder and he just Yeah, so blocks. now I'm not pressing anything anymore. Press down and it doesn't yeah. do anything. You can't pause or do anything in this as you're just soft locked and then you have to reset. But back over to Hendra, oh. so you you um if you get the second screen OG then you can do you can push it. And then here we walk up this vine, walk over to this bridge, make sure you go and stand on the bridge a little bit, and then walk back down the vine and we're up on this um we're up on an elevated layer right now. And then we walk all the way over to the left, um, over to where the statues are. You can um 
yeah. if you're first screen OG, you can't roll, but you can dash. So um, you probably have boots when you're um, when you're over here. and then you walk um, over to where the bl the block is on the left. I bought to be um, better break um, the, the the bushes first. Otherwise, oh, yeah. you can't escape. But yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah Hendrix, if you go over to where that boulder that block is and then walk down. You get into wind ruins without having to use any of the kinstones. Yeah. But so, <laughs> there are two applications of this OG. We can do two different um, things here. So, that's the first one. That's getting into wind ruins without the kinstones. And but this next one go is going to go all the way through. Uh, in instead, instead of going to wind ruins, it's going to go to um, Fortress of Wind straight away. Actually, uh, wait, I Eibel, let's, let's get you to, to do this. So I am. Gonna call tell you when I got the note. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. I think you're too far to the left. Like when you come out of the staircase, don't move, and then you're in the perfect position. Well, I need to cut the bushes though. You don't, because you can pick them up and throw them. Hendrix told me I needed to cut the no, bushes. No, you don't need to cut yeah. the bushes. You can pick them Wait, up really? and throw them. Okay, that's good. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know that. Yeah, picking up and throw. You, it's a good idea to think. Okay, anything Link does is going to soft lock me. But picking up and throwing is like the one thing that doesn't soft lock you. Oh, I just get second. You stage. got it there. Yeah, there you go. So you've got second screen oh, this right now. Is second stage, so I can do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But on first first screen, you can pick sure, up sure. and throw. Um, it's, it's actually really interesting when you pick up and throw um, bushes, because when you throw them, they don't get thrown, they just stay wherever Link was holding I can show, it. I can show, hang on. Uh, so where did I need to go? Oh yeah, so here's Hendris showing off the throwing of the, um, <laughs> the bushes. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, and then when you play the ocarina, they all fall back to the ground at the same time. But they yeah, all landed on Hendris there, so it was a bit weird. Yeah. Ocarina is a fantastic glitch that has a lot of comical stuff that's going um, on as well. Like you can do, you can use the cane multiple times and spawn a million particle effects and lag everything out. But um, it doesn't have application to the rando, so we we're not going to cover every little thing Oops. that goes wrong with the OG. Um, anyway, over back to you, Ibot. So you walk up um, to where the first um, vine is. This one. No, not this vine. Um, the one that yeah, is the first one that you encounter in Castle Wild. So this, this vine. Spot. Yeah, you walk up, up the vine, and then over to the wooden bridge, and you stand on the wooden bridge, and then you walk back down the vine. You have to make sure that you touch this wooden bridge because um, it doesn't register that you're up on the upper layer until you touch that wooden bridge, and then we you walk over to where the totems are, and then where that block is, you just walk down. And you're in wind ruins without having to fuse the kinstones. If you walk back up, um, uh, soft you're soft. Well, you can walk back down. Oh, you can walk back down. Okay. Yeah. I think, unless you are on the very far left. Okay. Yeah. I think if you hold up, then you get blocked inside of the block, and then you can't. Go no, down. if you are on the right side. Of oh, okay. And the, like the boulder hitbox, is, I think, is like that, and these are not actually solid. But so yeah. inside those, you'll soft lock that. There isn't a way of breaking out of this um, if you are on the other side of the of that block. Um, when you're in Wind Ruins, you're, you're, you are stuck in Wind Ruins. Um, you need the Ocarina to get out. Which you do have, because you just Ocarina glitched to get in here, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, the other Caster Worlds Ocarina glitch if you don't want to do wind, ru oh sorry. If you don't want to do wind ruins either, um, if you want to go immediately into fortress, um, we can do this movement instead. So if you go up to the vine again, touch the bridge, and then walk back down. Uh, I'm already on the layer. Oh, you're already up on the second layer. If you walk down where the wind crest is, walk down against this wall, and then hold left. Um, walk di diagonally down left. I oh, rolled. You rolled. I, I did roll. I think we'll go over to the iPod and show it. Yeah. Uh, wait, no. Uh, actually. Okay, Hendrix, you got it? No, no, hang on. 
Okay, I'm. I don't have OG. I don't have OG. I have OG and I'm on the other player. Okay. okay. Where do you want Where me to go? Where the crest is, you walk down and then hold down left. Yeah, you walk down against the wall and then hold down left until you do a screen transition. And then from here, we want to. Um, you keep rolling right. Just keep. Just keep moving right and doing rolls. I think you can dash. I think actually, I think dashing's fine. But you want to move right, and you keep moving right until you see the entrance to fortress, and then press up. And you're inside yeah, fortress. We okay. And we're inside fortress very, very quickly. So if you combine those. I think it's just two Ocarina glitches that we did from Link's house. We can get into Fortress in um, just in over no a minute, time. I think. But you, you would. I think you'd need Ocarina and Cape. I think. Okay, if you've got Ocarina and Cape, then you can get to um, Fortress. But myth, isn't there a good glitch that we can do here in Fortress? Oh God, no, there is not. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to make sure that you got a save state somewhere here in Fortress. Yep. Yeah. And then we will make our way over to um, Dark Horror Castle for the last set of portal items. What items? Uh, I thought you meant to Sorry, <laughs> oh, Ocarina Glitch, please just follow the... We've got the, the list of things on the side with that we're following. We kind of skipped Templar Droppers and chucked it back at the beginning of the Ocarina Glitch, but well. Um, so, Dark Horror Castle. Um, there's three Ocarina glitches that are useful here. So, um, this is the, the first one here, which Hendrix is showing off. You want to make sure that you've done the first cannon room first in, in, in Dark Harold Castle, but you're in the entrance room there. Um, yeah, yeah, so as you can see, the cannon's already um, done for. Yeah, you've already broke, make sure you've already got rid of the cannons in this room, and then we go, go up to this, um, to this sta um, staircase here and walk up to the top there so that we're in an elevated position here and now we can walk over all of the walls um, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to get we're going to break into the into the southwest tower yes yeah, southwest um, yeah so yeah you do that movement to get over to that room hop down the ladder and then you just walk up the and staircase it and it, it was yeah. a compass unfortunately yeah, yeah. one so that's the first um, um, uh, yeah. Ocarina glitch, um, so I got, we'll go over to you, Steve. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you when I got it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright, so Hendris has got the OG again, and they're going to go over here. I think we'll, yeah. we'll show you doing the second one. So the second yeah. one is, instead of going to the going down and left to the southwest tower, we're going to go right to the southeast tower. Um, yeah, however, be careful. I generally want to do my screen transition on this side. If we do the screen transition while we are um, near that door frame here, it's very easy to soft lock. Yeah, well, just follow Hendris's movement there. I think everyone does this kind of movement here. And then yeah. we go over to here. Um, so this second Ocarina glitch is super useful because we can get into the second half of um, um, Dark Horror Castle without having to go through the outside section with all of the gliding um, stuff. We, we are in the second... Um, yeah. Yeah, so from the Southwest Tower, you want to make sure that when you do um, this... This is going to be a third Ocarina glitch here, and this is the last yeah. one, which lets Thing you is, break yeah. back out. Yeah, see, because we, we can't really escape here. Yeah, we can't escape because that, that door is in place. So we yeah, need to so make we... sure we've got the cape for this. Yeah. And this is where it's important to have the cape equipped before we do the Ocarina glitch, because first screen Ocarina glitch, we can't pause to equip the cape. So make sure you've got it beforehand before you try and do the OG. And then you um, you walk into the door frame into this position so that you can see about this much of Link's hat. Um, it's pretty lenient, but it's around about this much. And then from here, you hold down left and press the the cape at the same time. Yeah, I just I think uh, you did, pressed did, did, the cape it? a bit late. Yeah, yeah. So I got OG now. Okay, let me just I... can quickly switch off to 
Okay, I um, yeah, we'll switch over to iBook before coming back to that OG. Okay, so you got the OG and then came back up, up to this position. Yeah, uh, so you're going to so do the I'm first... The upper layer? Yeah. You're going to do the first um, one, which was... Yeah, so I go down here and yeah, then keep, left? Yeah, or... keep going down. You can actually hug this left wall, it's completely fine. You don't screen transition until you're in the correct position. Because there's no room there. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. And, and you here you would just hop down and... And um, those um, pots have uh, refills of bombs and arrows in case you need it. Yeah. I don't think bombs and arrows are particularly sought after in Hyrule Castle though. Did you get the OG again first try? No. Oh, you I just save state. Set well. a save state after I got the OG, so that we wouldn't slow down to a crime. Oh. Oh, did you break out? Oops. Yeah. Let me quickly go back. Uh... <laughs> I was just doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So this. No. So the the second one, you want to go to the right hand side of this room. Yeah, there's not really anywhere that you can soft lock here. And then, yeah, you want to hit that switch and then go and get the the, the eyes. Um, so yeah, Hendris is over here now. They yeah, I've got so some trouble. You, hang on. Yeah, you get the ocarina glitch and then um, you go and stand in the door frame around about about that position. And um, this is really tricky, and we've got some visual, um, sorry, visual cues for it that we um, we use. But um, yeah, I think that's a good position as well. I think you were a bit further to the left there, so you'd have yeah. to be really if quick you, on that. Um, if you fail it, you can just wall once to be able to use the cape again. Yeah, that's okay. that's uh, really uh, important to note. If at any point that you OG and you walk under a floor um, or under a lower low ceiling, you can't use items that you wouldn't normally be able to use under there. So you wouldn't be able to use the gust jar or the cape or anything like that. So you'd have to reset Link's last tile position to be back out in the open on the regular tiles. So that's so we would have to do if you back um, exit back out of here and then try and um, use the cape. Yeah, oh, no, I could because okay. I, I got it. Yeah. Oh, you you, you, you just... got it. Okay. Yeah so that's that's yeah. what we do there with the Ocarina glitch. We um, you jump as you um, do, a, um, you press left to do the screen yeah. transition, and then basically, it's like in an elevated it. position and can yeah. jump over the, that. Um... Yeah, basically do, do this movement. Yeah. While you're in, in the door frame itself. Yeah. Okay. So I got we're over to. So okay. yeah, I got an OG. Yeah, you're a yeah. bit and too far I've... to the left because you can barely see Link's hat. You want to. I see one pixel, so that's too far. Yes, yeah, that's, that's too far. You want to see all of um, the the lip of his. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's a little bit too far to the left. I think I, actually, I think that's fine. You don't want to be more yeah. to the left than that. You could be further to the right, and I think it would still work. And then you press left and okay. jump at the same time. Left, left and down. jump. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought it was left and down. You can do um, down. I find down left is easier, but uh, going directly hold left, left and jump or yeah, hold Just hold left and jump. Yeah. Okay, you didn't. I was just soft locked. Oh, you soft locked. Yeah, so I pressed left and jumped and did a short hop. Yeah, this and, this is know. a tricky one. But there's a reason I said safe state here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. If you don't want. Yeah. Okay, if, so um... you moved left first before jumping, so then this happens, so then you can just walk right to try again. So you still got the Ocarina glitch enabled, and yeah, you do a roll there to make sure that you are able to jump again. Yeah, at yeah, any you time you enter into the door frame and don't get it, you need to roll again. Oh, there you got it! Go. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, now we can Make basically... It, uh, fleeing from the fire of restores. That's yeah. something you actually would have to practice. Um, yeah, yeah. I think so To be able to get consistently. So, this is Unfortunately, very that's difficult. not a one again. Oh yeah, okay, so there's a second one. So when we go into the next room along Hendricks, if you want to go back to show um, how you yeah. got there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so from the room that we were just in, we would go up, and then we would enter this room. This one's a lot trickier, and I definitely recommend using sword instead. 
you also want cake. Oh yeah. Okay, I've never used sword in this room before. You um, never use sword? What, do you just yolo this? Yeah. Okay, so you want to line up the tip of the sword to be just off screen. There you go. And then you do the, the cake jump. So it's, it's when the tip of the sword's just off screen, and it, you, do, yeah. you need to do a, a roll. You need to roll to make sure that you can cake jump. Like this, and then down and left and A. Hmm. This one is the harder one, this second one. Yeah. I just use just, just, just so, your right. This position? Wait, no. To the spin. Yeah, see. I got it, but just 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 by yoloing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can keep trying it like that. Um, yeah. This is one of those glitches that you'll get. You can get stuck for a very long time trying to do. So, this if you haven't practiced this a, a lot, don't try and do this in a randomizer race. But this does let you skip basically the first half of Dark Hole Castle and get to this red warp room without having to go through the whole outside section. But it yeah. can very easily take longer than the outside section if you're not 100% confident in being able to do those um, those door jumps. Th those door jumps are incredibly tricky. Okay. So what's the movement on the to do this door jump? So you want to line up the tip of the sword with the door frame so it's just off screen. So it's like the very pic tip, um, the pixel at the very tip of the sword is lined up with the edge of the door, the, the top of the door frame. Yeah, there you go, that's perfect. And then I hold left and jump Yeah. at the same time. Nope. Yeah, I just want, uh, it's not a, like an exact art, it, it, an exact science is more of an art of feeling the position for yourself. Yeah. Uh, do I do yeah. a like, like light Hendrix jump or just a this. short hop? Yeah. Yeah, just a short hop. You're not holding the cape to do a glide, you're just doing a hop. Yeah. What I basically do is just um, hold left and down and just spam A. And then sometimes it, it, it works. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely recommend doing down and down and A. Yeah. Not so, quite. also press down when jumping. Yeah, I like to press down and A whilst I'm doing. Um, sorry, down and left whilst I'm doing the um, trying to do the cake jump. Yeah, the second one is much tricky. I, it's it's definitely yeah. The first one was like I got a three tries out of three. This one. It's because it's Not further over to the left than the other one, so you can't do the same hat alignment. Yeah, um, basically you, you want to be um, in the air while doing the screw transition. Yeah, that's that's okay. that's the whole point of this is you are in the air when you so, when you hit the loading um, loading transition. And then you just But not in the air gliding. Not in not the air gliding, gliding doing a hop. And just hold and press I uh, left. Yeah, if you do it too early, then that's when you get stuck in the wall and then hop back into bounds. And then if you do it too late, that's when you do the walk. Yeah, um, so that's early, and... That looks good, yeah. That's there it. you go. There we go. Okay. And then you, um, yeah, you fight yeah, one the thing to note, though, chain soldiers with your preferred fighting method, which is yeah, one, ideally one jumping over note. them and getting, baiting them into yeah. doing their, their attack. If you want to go... Um, if you want to go further, you're still an OG. So oh yeah, when you okay. Hit so this room. Sorry, back to Hendris. If you want to go back to the 
show you sure. um, show how we got to this room. So yeah. from, from the chain soldier room, uh, we come left, and then we go up into this great room. Yeah, we're still blocked off though. So what we just do is we just place a few bombs here, and then we can switch to our trusty cape and arrows to quickly get rid of those to open it up. Uh, the important thing though is um, if I just try to get down here, nothing happens. Because uh, Ming's height is not going to get updated. However, um, what I can do is I can look at the tile and when it's right below, sorry, when it's right below me, I can just um, pop down and wall at the same time. Because that will update my height and will put me onto the platform again. Yeah, so this one's pretty tricky and you need to make sure that you're on the right cycle of that room. Um, you want the grate to be um, in 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 a whole roll length down from you when you, you do the um, do the roll so that you land on it. Because if you don't land on it, then you'll just um, go back up to the grate. You'll, you'll, you'll yeah. fall down the ground. Like that, land pretty lenient. Up. Yeah. Sorry, that's okay, how right. I, yeah. I got back over to you. He already did that. Oh yeah, so you've, you've yeah, already done it. Yeah, I just did it, it for twice. Like, it feels pretty lenient. I lose so much time in this room in my any percent runs. I hate it. Like that worked. Yeah. And that was not like that timing doesn't feel precise at all for when you roll. Yeah. You, you just have to jump roll down. when you jump down. Just yeah. before you game to but like, things like you. You can avoid doing this room with OG if you want to by just playing the ocarina. Remember, you can just use the ocarina to cancel at any point. But you have, you, you really need to make sure that you keep the OG for when you do the the first and second door jumps because you can't do the door jumps if you don't have OG. So make sure you don't cancel it. But at any point after that, you can cancel the OGs here. Just remember, if you want to ever use the cape um, after doing a, a going through a doorway, you need to roll, and then, then you'll be able to use the cape again. So if you're there trying to use the cape and it's not working, do a roll, and then you'll be able to use the cape again. Um, I think that's it for the OGs in Dark Hero Castle. There's not really any other application. Yeah, that's one more thing, though. <laughs> um, okay, right, now for the hardest glitch. Well, okay, this glitch is going to be the hardest for a beginner to learn. It's incredibly difficult starting out, but at a, that when okay, we'll go over to Hendris now. This is portal yeah. items in Fortress of Winds. Um, for speedrunners, this becomes a non-issue glitch. It's something that you just don't even think about. Muscle memory just takes over, and you do it very, very easily. So, um, how portal items works is. When you use an item while walking diagonally against a portal, and whilst you're using the item, you then hold directly towards the portal and hop up onto the portal, you you keep on using the item as you hop up onto the portal. So Hendris is showing off here with the sword. They're using the sword as they hop up onto the portal. Uh, basically, all of the items can be used um, like this. Um... Yeah, but the mids have a special application. If you do it yeah. too early, that happens. I'm going to fast forward, hang on. Yeah, so using the mitts, you you um if Hendrix shows off here. Yeah, you you get onto the portal into this deep deplaced location where links further up on the portal than they're supposed to. Yeah. And um we can when the, that. when you're further up because you're further up, you can jump up further into the wall than you're supposed to. We're very close to jumping out of bounds here, and it would be super handy if we could jump out of hit, go further out of bounds. And in fact, we can use a bomb to damage boost us out of bounds with a very precise timing. And this timing is very, very precise. It's, you have a five frame window that you can um, use the bomb to hit yourself up here. The, the, the frames for this are quite easy to spot. And some people can pull this off without having to do any, um... Oh, EU. Yeah, remember, you're on EU, you need to do a screen transition first. <coughs> yeah. Um... Okay, so we'll, we'll just go over to iBot to show off, um, some of the, um... Just the so basic movement. It's the, the basic, yeah. You have to explain the, the portal basic items. Too. So, yeah, yeah, portal items, you, you... You, um, so from the right hand side you want to hold up left so that you slide against the portal 
and then you want to use the item and release the up input that you're holding diagonally so it's you're just holding left. Yeah, I think sword's the best item to use starting off with this. You just want to press the sword once. Yeah, I'm using also, also using the sword so that I get the up left stuff. Yeah. Like slamming against it is kind of good. Yeah, so you slide yeah, yeah, so that's the slide. you hold left. Yeah. Yeah. So and basically, yeah, you, you, you slide up on it, then you use your item, and then you release the up input but still have the left input. There you go, you got it there. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. if you do that with the mitts, um, yeah. so sorry, with the, the mitts, mitts is just... the hardest item to use um, to get portal items. Well, I, I think some other items are pretty tricky as well, but the the, the mitts are especially um, ruthless because if you have a bad timing with the mitts, you get locked in this super slow animation, which just locks you in place for ten yeah. seconds. Um, basically, with mitts, you want to hold up and left. Then use the mitts, wait until the, you hear the clink of the mitts, and yeah. then do the yeah, release. So try and use the, the mitts with the... use the same timing that you... wait, no. Yeah, use the same timing that you were doing with yeah. the sword, but with the mitts this, instead. The, yeah, and this happens. You get a very slow animation with the mitts. And this will lose a few seconds. Can't even get the sliding against the portal consistently. <laughs> That's there you practice. go. Perfect. That was that is exactly what you want to get. So you made sure okay. that you released, you uh, you you made sure that you pressed left when you heard the click of the mitts hitting the. I did something and yeah. it wasn't intentional. <laughs> Basically, you delayed your press after you used the mitts long enough so that you didn't get the long animation. If you try doing it now, there you go. There you, it is. you press okay. left to, or you released up too soon. Before yeah. you heard the mitts clink against the metal, so you then I mean, get I this didn't animation. I didn't react to hearing the mitts clink on the first one. It, it, it just... takes a lot of practice to learn the precise timing of this. And yeah, you'll spend a long time just trying to get this portal items and being able to not get long animation um, consistently. I think, Hendris, you're still doing a lot of practice on this to get this consistent right pitch. Right, I fail to... probably every tenth of it. Okay. Yeah. I fell every tenth of it, but yeah, it's just holding up and a, uh, sorry, up and left, um, clinking, and then pressing left, and then we have the final, the final hurdle. Yeah, I'm the final, the final animation. like sprinkle to add on top of this lovely cake. Yeah, the bomb. cherry on top is the is the the bomb. Yeah, you can tell that I am failing it because I have to show it. There we go. Okay. So, so the, the bomb is placed to... hang on. We place the bomb inside the wall. Oh, hello. What happened? There we go. There we go. I paused. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You, pa you paused. I thought something happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to um, s s um, frame advance this? Yeah. How many red right. flashes? Anyway, when you place down the bomb, um, as the bomb gets placed left on the ground, it'll start flashing red. You want to watch, you want to count the number of times it flashes. So it will flash twice. So you, there we've seen two flashes. Wait, is this the third flash? This is the third flash already. This is the third flash. Okay. So Where you'll, you'll see two flashes and then you may see a third flash, but the frame after the third flash. Can I can try again. Uh, the frame after the third, the third flash, the bomb starts changing shape. Okay, so yeah. we're doing frame advance here. So this is just a normal bomb in it is its regular position, and we're we're just watching it as we as um. There's a, there's the first red flash. It's quite long, so it should be easy to spot. The second one is also really long, so it should be easy to spot. The third one is tricky to spot because it's literally one frame, and the game's running at sixty FPS, so it's you have to spot one frame, which isn't great. So normally you wait for those two flashes, and then after that you wait to see for the bomb to start changing its shape. This is the first frame that the bomb starts changing its shape, and then you get five frames of, uh, sorry, you get four frames where the bomb is still blue and changing shape and, and then, then 
the lo- uh, the frame after the fourth frame where the the bomb has turned red again and it's big and red uh, that's the last frame that you have to be able to do it so anywhere between anywhere on those blue frames and then the very last one which is uh, the first red frame is the, are the yeah. the five frames that are good um, so, and the important thing though if you place your bomb you want to hug the wall while placing it yeah yeah, make sure you and, get up, place the bomb as high up against that wall as you can. Yeah, and preferably place it in, in a position you can spot. Looks like. Hang on. Yes, you don't want to put it directly in centre aligned with this portal because Link will yeah. be blocking it. Yeah, like this. The, like this, you can't see that. You can't see the bomb now, and you can't see yeah. how it's flashing. So you want to put it off to the side. And now you can just uh, pause buffer, for example. Yeah, we do pause buffering to spot these red flashes. So there's one. Okay. Now, the, the 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 bomb is already growing. Yeah, the so bomb's changed shape, want... and we saw it was blue, so it's a it's good. We haven't seen it turn red since it started changing shape, so we know that yeah. this is a good frame. Yeah. So I just hold up and release start, and it will damage boost me on top of the wall. Yeah. And from all on, um, I can. I can just go into Mazal's chamber first. Yeah, However, you don't want to do this yeah. first. You need to... It's, yeah. We need to make sure that we do a screen transition here. So we want to walk down here. Out of out of there and then walk back up. Oh, you soft-locked there. <coughs> okay, so after you do the... Um, after do, doing the portal items, instead of walking up, just walk directly left after doing the portal items. That's too late. Okay, you got the last frame. So, yeah. um, what, after that last pause, he had a red frame after the bombs had um, had been growing. So, after getting this, you are in an elevated position right now, so you can walk anywhere. You can walk back down. But you want to walk left, um, right, around about where the portal is here. You can, even after immediately doing the portal items, you can just walk left. And then from here, you can walk up. So we want to see this white flash. This white flash will prevent Mazao from um, bugging out, and he'll actually load in properly. So yeah. We however, will... we still, yeah, we still need to get into the ground floor again. Yeah, we're in the, if we're in that elevated position there, we're on the elevated layer. So if we walk up into Mazao from that elevated layer, um, Mazao wouldn't be able to interact with us because Mazao's on the base, uh, on the lower layer, and we're up on the upper layer, so we just don't interact. Yeah, I can show it in a second. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so... Doing an extra unnecessary frame buffer. Yeah, I know. Sorry. So, yeah. Yeah, just walk now, up I'm without jumping down. Yeah, I'm on top floor. You can see that because I'm... Yeah. Okay. Everything works the same. Yeah, the whole cutscene yeah. plays. This is really bad, actually, because you get the whole cutscene playing um, before the fight, and then... Can you skip forward? Oh, no, it's fine, don't worry. Um, yeah, so try and f fight Mazao now, and you'll notice Oh, no, it's not twerking. Yeah, you are up in the upper layer, and you can walk over the top of Mazao. And you, you won't be able to interact with anything, and nothing will happen. So if you're in the, if this has happened, you need to walk down uh, to leave the room, and then hop down the hop down the uh, the door frame and then go back into the room. And unfortunately you have to watch the whole cutscene again, so you don't want that to happen. And then what well, now Mazao should work properly. But re what's really important to note with the randomizer is that you do that first screen transition where you you get that white screen. If you don't get that white screen after doing the, um, the screen transitions, then when you enter Mazao, um, Mazao won't load in properly, and you're soft lock. Yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah, pause or anything yeah. during that. Unfortunately, portal items is by far the most difficult um, thing to get, especially in combination with the damage boost. Yeah, it's it's incredibly difficult to. Um, to pull up for a new person. Like, if you're just starting out learning this, you're going to struggle a lot on this glitch. This is going to be the hardest glitch to, to learn yeah. as a new person. Um, I mean, yeah, that's I mean, also not... Anyway, back to iBot. Yeah, you got yeah. Long... I did, did get a long animation here. I got like 
ten or so without a long animation before. Okay, that, if so. you're getting all of them pretty consistently, then um, start it's... placing a bomb down. Oh, you got a little dig animation yeah, going on there. I don't know whether I think that's when you are way too high, so it doesn't clink anymore. I mean, that's good. If it, it, it doesn't matter, if you yeah, that's something oh, to note is you want to be as high up as possible. You want to make sure Link's boots are above. Um, there's a um, there's a golden little ground um, little minish hole on the right hand side, uh, about halfway up that. And of course, now that you guys are watching, yeah, exactly. But yeah, um, uh... about about halfway up this um, this tile is the it's the lowest position that Link wants to be. So you want to be you want to be above that position. Um, it will prevent the bomb explosion from being on the correct frame and just not damage boosting you. Sometimes you'll get the correct frame, the bomb will explode and you won't, don't get damage boosted. And it was because you were too low when you did the, your, um, your portal items. Yeah, you've got 50 bombs, so you've got loads of bombs, so stop putting a bomb down when you try and do the portal items. There you go, and pause. Okay, so you got... So I got two or three red flashes? I think I don't that's know. your third red flash now. So you're on one frame before where you need to be. So I unpause and then press up. You need to... No, you're... no, you don't, because you it won't work, because you're one frame before where you need to be. You're, you're well, last I unpause you... and then press up. No, you want... Instead of trying to get a frame you, buffer, you need to I get a five. Put... You need to hit a five frame window. And I really don't yes. recommend that. I recommend doing another frame buffer. So you want to mash start to try and. Let me mash... set a save state here and try that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know what. Yeah, I get what you're saying because it's such a long unpause animation. Yeah. So that. There you go. Yes. There you that go. That was good because the the bomb was still blue, and then you yeah. can just hold oh, okay. up and release. Uh, and then shrink down. Pulse. So yeah, when the blue bomb. Uh... <laughs> When the bomb is blue and it shrank down once, that works as your frame window. You, you, um, you'll soft lock now if you go into Mazao, because you, you need to do the screen transition after this. Yeah. So, um, that works. Okay, cool. I was wondering if that works. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, okay. I was wondering too, but I have a safe state not too far oh, away. Oh, that's, so. that's really good. Okay. So yeah, after jumping down... You can go down here and you don't get stuck inside this boss door because it's from the top. There you know. go. And now, we, yeah, you can then just walk straight up into Mazao and do the fight. Yeah. Which... Yeah. I'm gonna are... instead try this a few more times. Yeah. yeah. Okay, keep keep going at that. Um, Hendris, if you yeah. want to go back over to... Um... Another portal items, for example. Oh, there's another one. This is really unuseful. There's one use for this, and this is an Oops. entrance rando. Uh, so I really don't think we should show that. Well, okay. Yeah, you can do a mitts at portal items there too. Yeah. To, to, to you break don't need the, the uh, bombs for that though. Yeah. You, you. Okay. Okay. Sure. You can get into the second half of palace without doing a angle retention, but uh, verbal hop. But why would you do the angle retention verbal hop? Why wouldn't yeah, you um... do it? Yeah. So. If yeah. you want to go back to Fortress, there's more stuff we can show in with that um, angle retention. Sorry, uh, sure. go back to back to Fortress. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you want me to do? Uh, if you go right. Um, you can then um, hop up. Um, and you have got to the, um, the skull um, chest early. Yeah. So you can just skip the use of, I think, three small keys. It's and hard a lot of time saved. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the only way of getting there without any keys, is you need to do the portal items. Yeah. This also this portal items is um, like completely repeatable. You, you you can always come back here and do, try and do another one. It, because of the setup and the difficulty, it doesn't really save that much time. Um, 
Only if you're like super confident that you can nail it every single time that you're going to be saving time in Fortress by doing a bunch of yeah. these to go out of bounds. So you can go left as well. Um, and that will let you go over to here. Where can you Wait, can you things? just pull that? Yeah, I'm still on the oh, upper Oh, interesting. I did, you, you, you're up on the, you're on the upper layer, and you can pull that lever. Oh, that, that's great. Okay. I didn't know that you could do that. So you can check that item before going to Mazel if you wanted to. Yeah. Well, now you're not an OG anymore. Oh, you are. You don't need no, to, we, you, we don't do any OGs here. This is a portal item. I know. Uh, on the upper layer, right. We are still on the upper layer. Yeah, we are we still, are on, still the on the upper layer. layer. Um... Oops. <laughs> well, not anymore. now you're not. <laughs> And you're, you're stuck in there. Well, you can you can push the thing to get the red warp and get out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's probably, that's pretty much it for pot items, right? Um, yeah. I think you can get into the Igor fight room without the bow, but that is completely pointless because you <laughs> you need these to use the bow to kill the Igors. Anyway. Yeah. And um, there's door render. Yeah. But you can. Get into the uh, the the section with the um, um, you, you you can go to that room where the the moving platforms are and w work your way backwards back down fortress on left side without using it a, a bow to get there so you can get those roof and mania items. Um, but I wouldn't use the portal item to get there because we can do an ocarina glitch which we haven't showed off. Oh, where where's that? There's a there's an ocarina glitch that we can do here in um, in Fortress because we can do ocarina glitches everywhere. Um, it's back down in the main entrance room. Okay, show me the way. Yeah, just go up. Oh, that one. Yeah, head okay. up these stairs, and now we need to make sure that we've got the bow because we need to hit the the. Um, we need to hit one of the idols and then do an OG off of that staircase. So this one's a little bit trickier than a, than everyone uh, yeah. than the standard OG because every time you do a stair walk, you need to hit the ice statue, the Igor again, and then um, we need to make sure that the Igor's hit so it's not a wall so that we can walk past it. Yeah, this is a pretty tricky OG, and you can lose a lot of time here, especially if the staffers aren't cooperating, not not cooperating. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, the got moved, so it's not, it's not a wall anymore. And remember, we're on first frame OG, so any um, any any animations will um, soft lock you, except for picking up um, stuff. But Which I can't. Th yeah. Those you can't pick up because they're actually enemies. They're just frozen. But yeah, we walk yeah. up the staircase here, to and Link popped up into a higher position. Make sure you don't hop down. That's really bad because you're still locked. Yep. Um, but yeah, after we've walked up the staircase, we can then um, we can then walk up and avoid having to unlock those locked doors. So there's there's two things we can do with that um, that OG. We can uh, you can walk up, yeah, keep walking up there, and we've skipped these locked doors, so you can get to the back half of the fortress without any um, any locked doors. The other one is you can uh, um, you can't unfortunately walk across there. I think you still got OG on, right? Yeah, you still yeah. have OG, so you, you'll be able to fight the dark nuts. And you will be able to walk across the gap after this dark nut fight without um, falling down. Um, ah. Well, not if you roll into the gap. Fair point. But yeah, that's basically how we skip um, the use of small keys here. Yeah, and unfortunately, you do a white screen transition after blowing up this um, door, so. Did you just get a roller? Yeah. Okay, you're slanging me off earlier for doing rollers, and now we're doing that now. <laughs> but yeah, you do a white screen transition here, which will kill OG. Yeah, like that. 
So you you can use DOG there to skip having to use a small key to get, come back to here. This doesn't really save time, it just skips a small key. And then yeah. back over here you can do another OG. Um, and instead of going up, we can walk right. I think it might be easier just to kill the Igor. Especially if you got a light arrow, because then you can just fire a light arrow into the Igor and then it's dead. And then if you do stair walks, it doesn't lose you any time. Okay. So we do the same setup to get to an elevated position. Uh, go back down, back back to that main room. Instead of going up here, we go right. Yeah, um, walk down a bit. There we go. Oh, and over here, we... <gasps> oh, we can, can still get, get grabbed. grabbed. <laughs> you can still get grabbed. Yeah, it's much easier to kill that Igor, actually. Unless you're confident that you can... You don't have to. But yeah, then we can walk up these stairs to... Um... You can... Wait, does, does this help for at all? This isn't actually helpful at all, unless you want to get to um, the Skull Drop quickly. Because then you can walk down here. And we're in here, and then you can you would use one small key to get to that skull drop. So it's just an if you want to use OG to get to there instead of using the myths. Uh, sorry, instead of using portal items, I would still use portal items. Actually, portal items is probably faster than doing the. It's OG. Really good, right? Yes, and you can actually, skip with the key. Yeah. Thinking about it, I don't think this OG is actually useful at all. Yeah. Doing uh, sorry, going to the right when doing the OG. But instead of going to the right, if, instead of if we go left, um, that's actually useful because we can skip using the bow. We we can't skip using the bow because we need to. Do it. Oh, forget it. I think that's it. I think we're done. <laughs> I think that's uh, enough. For... Uh, that, that, there's one more thing though. Oh, there is one more thing. It's in Deepwood, isn't it? But it's I, Deepwood. I anyway, I think there's nothing else in Fortress that's going to really. Um, really be too helpful so yeah yeah this is a glitch in deep woods that um we've put it on the misc because it's we you you don't be doing in the any percent speed run um it it, it 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 saves us does it save any small keys uh yeah okay it, it lets you get to the back half without using um the gust jar or the the, the um it's a bit tricky though. So what you want to do is you want to stand half part on the last step of the stairs and halfway on the statue itself. And then if you, if you just push the statue, um, it breaks. And there's there's a one or two frame window where we can use the cape to get out of bounds here. But just a little hop. It's difficult though. Yeah, I. I barely know how to do this glitch. I kind of just mess around with it until it worked, but um, yeah, you kind of want to try and move up one pixel at a time. Okay, there you go, you got it. And eventually you time a, a, a cape um, use to yeah. be able to clip out and you are now out of bounds here. And from uh, from this elevated position, we're out of bounds, we can walk around in, in deep hood. Um, and we can immediately skip straight to Malapala. If we don't soft lock, yeah. don't soft lock. Try to avoid, yeah. When a general advice with out of bounds movement is, if you are doing a screen transition near the corner of a room, don't try and get, do it from um, like the middle of, of of a room doing a side transition. Or when you're going into another room, have a mental picture in your head of where that is going to be. Oh yeah, so we can get, come over to here without having to unlock the barrel, but then we'll get stuck, yeah. stuck in there. But yeah, that glitch um, can either be done with a cape, or with a death abuse using a fairy in a bottle and a bomb. Yeah, um, the fairy in a bottle with a bomb I didn't get once, it's incredibly yeah. difficult. I think we've only got it in a TAS, but... I'm sure yeah, it's, uh, it, it may be human viable with like a setup, but it's yes. not... It's not top priority. Um, I think it kind of loses more time to try a bunch if 
yeah, then, you, then, you, then you it actually want, saves. You, you kind of want to have the cape activated on around this frame. It's about that frame, okay. Yeah, it's 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 really shortly before it breaks, but of course it didn't work. There we go. There we go. And yeah, you know, out of bounds, and you can. So this, I'm not sure ex exactly how much you can. You, you can do a screen transition. You can go right into the corner there. Um, yeah. And then you can. You can hop down this um, door frame to get to the um, to that item without having to use the Gus jar or the lantern. Um, yeah. You then have to quick warp out because you would be stuck behind the web. And then you can also come and fight the Mad Pillar without having to um, use Gus jar or lantern. Either. Well, that was third try. Yeah. See? Oh, did you get the third try? Third try. I found. I got. I okay. Here's the iBot now. Um, I had. I had a lot of issues with this. Yeah, it's, maybe it's something it's that will come better with practice. Or yeah, I think it's a one or two frame window. I probably just got lucky. <laughs> I also didn't save a state before, so I need to go back. Okay, yeah. Okay. The, the good thing is, um, since Abbott now has, sorry, since Abbott knows all the stuff now, um, he's able to do to to run any percent. So congratulations on that. Yeah. Uh, does yeah, that you, mean you, I will now? Literally... Oh wait, no, you fail can't because you don't know Lake House OG, and we're not going to show you Lake House right. OG. Right. I don't know any of the Kinsel Manners. I don't know Lake House OG. Yeah, I'm fine. You still say, "Wow, you just got it again, first try." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh... this might be easier than I thought, unless you're just lucky. <laughs> I could still be just lucky, but uh, how do I get back? You don't want to go left. Yeah, I don't want to go left. That's why I didn't say before. And you're just stuck. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, if you Back walk up the stairs, you'll reset your position again. Um, what was I doing? But from from there, I think you can walk directly right to get to the um, um what should we call it? Uh, I don't think I'm getting just lucky, but. Yeah, I think you, you, you're getting a, a good timing for this. Come on. Anyway, this this is over two hours long now. Um, I think that is a comprehensive look at all of the glitches that have an application in um, Rando. I mean, the, uh, there is the... That we thought of. That, that we could think of. We didn't want to show Lake House uh, um, Ocarina glitch because it's very rare that you're going to have to do Lake House OG and do we want to show it? I don't just finish this off just to make, sure, make it as 100% comprehensive. Sure. I can quickly grab a bottle, hang on. Like, I doubt yeah. anyone's ever going to have to pull this off in a round, okay? oh. That's why I didn't really want to include it. I want to randomize this, Ned. Hmm? Bottles are randomized, yes. Yeah. Do you not Don't have a bottle? Oh, god. Command lines. The bottle. Wait, hang on. We'll go over No, uh, here. the debug file does not have bottles. Uh-oh. Are you sure? Have you pressed buttons on the... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not an invisible item. No. But, uh... Give me a sec, I will tell you what to... Well, do you, do you have a you memory? Have all... Yeah, if you do right, have it all unpause. There you go. Yeah, it's it's there. There you go. Yeah, the important thing to note with Lake House OG is that when you use boots, you have to have them equipped, and you also need a fairy bottle. But you need a you big long list of items fairy? for Ocarina. Sorry, Lake House OG. Sorry, what's that? I got. Yeah. Do you know what state uh, Ferry is? Uh, 40. I think it's 40. But yeah, so Lake House OG, okay. Wanna, wanna have... Yeah, make sure you kill this um, Octorok. Uh, you need to damage down, by the way. Um, go to the... Oh, my God. You killed the Octorok. Um, 
Again, this is another reason why we didn't want to show off Lake House OG. You need to be basically dead, so you need to damage down from the massive amount of health that you have in um, in Rando. In any percent, you would be taking damage periodically before this point in the run, so that you're on low health by this point. Okay, that's work. Um, Hang on. Oh, you don't have the spikes by the what should we call it? Um, Oh yeah, that's faster because um, you have remote bombs. You just need to make sure you have at least one bomb. So um, what with what this Ocarina glitch allows us to do is it lets us get to Templar droplets without having the flippers or the cape. So we make sure we kill the Octorok there, and then we go into the um, the house with the dog. And then we exit out, and we need to make sure we have boots and bombs equipped. You have to have boots equipped, you can't... This does not work if you use L to use the boots, you have to have it on equipped. And we want to press the boots and the bomb on exactly the same frame. Okay. Stop the... It's the one one? Hang on. There we go. I think, j just show it off in, in one, one go. Um, We have the bomb ferry. Yeah. We've got a ferry. Oh, you uh, got... so... oh, God, that's right. Again, another reason why I didn't want to show this off. If you have an arrow ferry, this doesn't work. Crap. Uh, yeah. I've got a save state for this. I can show it off. Yeah, then do it. You do it. Uh, where did you pick up the arrow button? Because of oh, the you, did have... you, you did right. have one. Yeah. I don't have an arrow uh, bow butterfly. Oh, you don't? Okay. I only gave myself a bottle. I'm still in the process of damaging that. Is this the correct one? That is not. I'm trying to load up my. There we go. Okay, so I kill that guy? Yeah. You wanna have a safe set there, probably. I bought right here. Yes. Okay. You press. So. Boots, sorry. You, here we go. Um, Land a bomb and boots downwards at the same frame. So, yeah. And, and when you bonk, you wanna equip okay. the earth. Hold up. Sorry, equip what? Right, so I've Everest? got the, I've okay. got the um, the um, ev everything set up here. So okay. we, I've got a fairy boots ocarina. I currently ha don't have the bow and the bombs in my inventory, but I have them equipped. Crap, <laughs> this isn't gonna work because I'm gonna have to get rid of my bow. Fuck. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to try to do it? Yeah, we'll just explain I'm in the bong right now. What do I need to do next? Like, I have a bomb placed. I think it's the right timing. Yeah. I'm bonking, you wanna... basically. Sorry. You want to hold up and unpause, immediately fire an arrow, and roll, and then still hold up. Basically. So, keep holding up, fire yeah. one arrow, and roll once. Uh, sorry. First roll, then arrow. First roll, then arrow? And then just hold One up. arrow? It doesn't yeah. matter which order, but yeah, you don't mash the the, the buttons. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what you wanted to see. Yeah. You want to die and the door to be open, and you're not. Yeah. In, you didn't walk into the door. And then I need to get an OG. Yeah. Yeah, you can roll to so the door frame. So you roll up into the door frame, and then you're trying to OG. Um, this is really oh. brutal because if you. If you yeah, walk into the I door, have a save state, but you have a save state, but yeah, if you like for racing purposes, this if you don't if yeah, you do if that, that happens, you have to go get another fairy and do the whole setup again. Um, this is a you have run to go killer. Get another fairy, do the whole thing. Run. Yeah, and this is in the speed one to let us um, enter droplets without the flippers, flipper skip basically. Yeah, speedrunners. If, if speedrunners practice before they do runs, there's like 
three things that they practice. It's um, the Castlewald's um, Kenstone Minip, um, the Vati fight RNG Minip. They're two very difficult things to do. And then the third thing is this, Lake House OG, because so many runs will die to Lake House. But yeah, the, uh, the setup's really consistent, so you should be... Uh, yeah, the setup was not the hard part. Yeah, it's, it is not the hard part. Um, I mean, it was the hard part when we could, when it wasn't working on the rando thing for some reason. And then we figured out it was because we were using boots on L, and it doesn't work if you use boots Boots on, on L are one frame later. And... Yes. And this is a, that's a frame-perfect setup as well, so... There is a setup that uses Ezlo buffering, so we talk to Ezlo over and over again oh, as we watch the bomb explode. Um, that is awful, don't do that. Ah, there it is. There you go, you got it. Only took me like seven tries of resetting as I've said. Yeah, so currently but you've got now the Now I can first... get this hard piece. You can't. Without cave. Wait, what? If you walk into it, nothing will happen. You can walk oh. over it and then play the ocarina if you wanted to. Yeah, I can get it. Yeah, you can, <laughs> just... get, you can get it. That's but you won't. interesting. Okay. That is at least an application for Rando, okay. even if you have flippers. Yeah. And you, the, like the, we've the, seen door's, the, there the door's still open. Uh, you can do another OG. <laughs> yeah, then you can um, go into droplets, basically. However, um, you have to. You can Could also I get to the. the piece if I had second stage OG, or is it the, yes. just a layer thing? Yes. you So could. basically, you don't want to get it on the first, so you, the ocarina first one, so you get picked up. Yeah. You can also go over to the Mitz cave without the cape. Yeah, that sounds useful. Oh, you got it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, first aid though. So yeah, yeah, can go uh, over here play pause, the ocarina. So you can go. You can't equip you the can mitts. Go. You can play yeah, the ocarina to get rid of the OG. I so. mean, yeah, you're gonna go into. Does going into a mitts cave actually change it? It wouldn't. No, right? you would maintain OG in the mitts cave. But going to the beanstalk would. Yeah, going up the ladder, you would get a white screen transition, and it would kill the OG. But you could walk out to Lonlon and. Um, You'd still have OG. There wouldn't be any use. Can in you that, OG I think. off digging cave entrances? No. No. Because if yeah, you try um, rolling up into the digging cave entrance, it will just automatically load you into well, the yes, cave. But yes, it would be way harder to get a setup. But you know, can but it yeah, test so to, test to, If you walk like, all the way around to Temple of Droplets. Um, you'll need to make sure that you cancel the ocarina glitch before you hop on onto the portal. If you try and hop onto the minish portal with the OG still on, you'll soft lock. Yeah, that, that's that brutal. Cool. When you get Lake House OG first try, go all the way around to here, hop onto there, and then you, you, you're soft, soft lock. lock. Yep. Um, what else? Well, I guess you could get to anywhere here in, in, um, you can get that, you can get both of those items. You could go into the tree if you wanted and push this thing. I can soft lock here. To, yeah. You, you would soft lock if you tried to push that, yeah. I know. Um. Let me try to get second state OG. Yeah. yeah that, that, that's, that would be it's... super handy. Yeah. I mean... It's not like it's harder to get than first aid OG. You just play the ocarina once before you do your OG attempts. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, just don't get OG first try. Well, or just story. if you are going for second state OG. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a thing. Um. Yeah, you you get don't soft roll. lock like that. I got so it. Don't roll into water when you have second state OG. 
So yeah, second stage you can pick that up. If you can... go into the mids, I'll go into this middle mids cave and see get the get the item from in there. Well, I guess you could get everything from the ground floor of this mids cave as well. Yeah, what happens when you go over to Lon Lon? <laughs> yeah, sure. that's what I was thinking. Pretty sure it still keeps the OG. It should keep it. It should keep the OG, but... There's no vacation there. It does. What? Why? Oh, because I already have the book. I don't... Yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do here. No, really? I'm pretty much locked in here. But yeah, you can do a bunch of stuff if you get second state OG by doing playing the ocarina first and then getting grabbed by Zephyr when you actually pull off an OG, then there's a bunch of stuff over in Lake Hylia that you can do. You can grab two freestanding items, you can come into these mitts caves and get a bunch of items. Um, you can push the short shortcut to Wave Blade. Don't enter Wave Blade straight away because you'll kill the OG, but yeah, then you'll that be able to go into get rid of OG. droplets. Yeah, second stage OG is way more useful here. And you can roll and basically do all kinds of movement, except for rolling into the water, that's bad. Rolling into the water is very bad, yes. I mean, you could still save and exit, but you would have to... So why am I not on an upper layer? Because it's all one layer. Huh. It's a, it's, that's a lie staircase. It's a, you're not actually... On a higher elevation. Yeah, there's a lot of them, and it was difficult figuring those out for. Um, yeah. I mean, speed run just stuff. open Minish Maker. But that one is uh -oh. a higher elevation, and now I'm soft Yep. Yep. No, it, that's a ledge, it's not higher elevation. It's not a higher elevation, it's just a ledge. It's just a ledge. It's not yeah. stairs, but it's a ledge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, you don't need to be on a higher layer as as long as uh, the the ledge tiles are on the tile yeah. on the layer that you're at, you'll you'll do the hop but animation. Don't they put you on a lower layer usually? It, yeah, it will. But, but if I you're already that... on a lower layer and you hop down onto a lower layer, it, you'll just maintain your layer position. Oh yeah, you can't go down the wait. You can... oh sorry, you can, and then you I get can. a white transition. Well, that's actually a okay. black transition, but it will um, yeah. You, you lose the OG. But yeah, I think that's it. I can't that's think it. of any other glitch applications. This has Me been either. 2 hours and 20 minutes now of um, yeah. us talking and about glitches, going through them and demonstrating them at various different execution levels. Um, you didn't see me do it, but basically imagine all of the glitches being done first try. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And then dying to mulders us. <laughs> Excuse me, I died to an Octorok today, actually. Actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that does it for us. I yeah. don't think anyone's Can... going to watch this. I think we need yeah. to edit this and cut it down. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's... So you can pick up Minish Cap 80% in about 3 hours. Uh, nice. You would still need to watch the post that. guide on yeah. stuff. Okay, so it's 3 hours of watching the guide and then 2 more hours of just practicing. Yeah, you can pick up Minish Cap in like an afternoon. Um, okay, so for someone that has basically never done any glitches and they're going to do their first ever glitches allowed rando what glitches uh, do you yeah, think you go for angle retention it's yeah. easy uh og practice and see if you get like don't go for lake house but og probably like the temple of Drop, like the boss dog clips were really easy yeah and okay. those did something uh, the mids portal items was like it took me a good 50 tries to start getting it down but then it was kind of working so yeah uh, and the OGs are just you need 
try a bunch of times. Also, yeah. that kills your OG when you're top on top of this portal. Yes. Oh no, wait, no. I came from the other... I did a screen transition then. Okay, I think that should be it. It's 5 a.m. already. Oh. My alarm clock rings at 8. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I think we've talked too much. Yeah. Um, I think we could, like... I think when I highlight it, I'll write timestamps in the description so that you can... Like, if you're interested in a specific application, then you can just jump to that section where we see it, sh show it done. And... Yeah, that sounds useful. All oh, right, so we'll leave it there. Um, if I, 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 I might swear my viewer count's been oscillating randomly. I swear we've had like two viewers the entire time, and now it's at six. There are people actually watching. Post Frank or Z in chat if if you're actually watching. Just calling out all of my um, lurkers. Calling out all, all of, of the, the lurkers. lurkers. <laughs> No, but it's fine. Don't you don't have to say if you're not what if you're not if you don't want to. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I'm not going to do any raids or anything. I'm just going to end the stream here. Thank you for watching. We'll get this highlighted and put into a more digestible form. But anyway, thank you. See you guys later. <laughs>